This is a short overview of the front panel layout on the Blackmagic Design ATEM Mini Switcher. The switcher has four HDMI inputs and two inputs for audio. It has one HDMI output for the program feed and also a USB connection where it shows as a webcam in whatever computer you have it connected to. So starting with the audio interface part of the switcher. The audio interface is on the left hand side for the two mic um, 3.5mm TRS style connectors located on the back of the mixer. There are two of them so there are two sets of controls. There is a simple on off switch and also buttons to turn the levels up or down. Additionally, for each of the HDMI inputs, there is also an audio section, which is these six buttons above each um, button, big button for the HDMI input. So again, you have the on-off switch and arrows to turn up and down the volume levels to reset it to Unity, so not boosting or cutting any any of the levels you can press reset and also there's a button here called AF feed which stands for audio from video and so or audio follows video and so as you switch between different inputs the audio will also follow the inputs alternately you can have it set to on and so this audio source will remain on no matter what and if you have another HDMI, so HDMI 2, if audio from video is also on, then you'll hear the audio from HDMI 2 as well as the audio from HDMI 1 as indicated by the red lights. Moving on, these bottom controls select the input that you're showing, pretty simple. There's a black button which is simply a black screen. It does not change the state, the state of this um, audio from HDMI 1, it just shows a black screen and you can still hear the audio if this is on. With the ATEM software control, you can configure a still image that you can switch between and so that's what the still button is right here. Moving on to the right hand side, the transitions are the cut and auto buttons over here and so cut as you can see when you press the button it switches right away auto is for transitions that take more time such as a half second one second one half second or two seconds which you can select here there's different transition mix is a crossfade so it will take here we have one second and it will take one second to crossfade from one to the other, dip changes from the input source, it flashes white, and then it goes to the next input source. Above here there's a sub couple of ripple effects and slides which you can select from and you can also see more detail in the ATEM software control. Moving up to this top section there's a keyer which by default is set to HDMI number 4 and so for example if you have a PowerPoint with a green background then the green will be selected as the key and you'll be able to show that it's upstream so it shows on top of whatever input you have selected. Moving on to the picture in picture Picture in picture is set by default to HDMI number 1, so when you turn this on, HDMI 1 will show the whole, the whole HDMI 1, but it will be scaled down to a corner, which you can select over here. You can only have one, um, either picture in picture or the keyer, you can have both on at the same time. And so for example, if we had picture in picture turned on and we're also showing HDMI 1, by default, HDMI 1 is also the source for the picture-in-picture, -picture, so you will see the full screen image from 
this being selected over here and then you will also see a um, a scaled down version of HDMI 1. Lastly this button called FTB fade to black will fade the video sources by default to black so this includes any picture in picture, it includes any inputs you have currently queued up it will fade to black and the ATEM software control you can also choose to fade out the audio as well however that's not the default and the cool thing about this is you can have it when you turn it on it will turn down everything so whatever you currently have configured it will simply fade it all to black which is useful at the beginning and end of a presentation and so that is an overview of the Blackmagic ATEM Mini, the front panel interface, and the audio section, the transition section, some digital video effects, and the basic queuing logic.